Okay, so we're gonna approach this just like we do on the exam. I'm gonna start with this scenario. Read the scenario carefully. In your role as a system administrator or sys admin, you're responsible for the technical offboarding of employees leaving the organization. Offboarding, of course, being uh, the process of deleting accounts, changing privileges whenever anybody leaves an organization or a position. Now, recently, your colleague Bob, who has also access to Windows Administrator login credentials, has left the company for another job opportunity. Your manager is aware of the situation and has asked you to apply extra scrutiny to Bob's systems access. Using identity and access management, you must ensure you have correctly offboarded Bob, including the use of his credentials to prevent any compromise of your organization's systems, whether on-premises or in the cloud. At a minimum, your manager expects you to perform the following. Disable Bob's Windows Server access. Change administrator credentials for specific mission critical file server for a specific mission critical file server. Evaluate network security device access. Windows Active Directory security group access and Windows Server on Azure Cloud administrative access and make a decision regarding credentials. Assume that Bob had administrative level and least privilege access across all your company's IT management features. Okay. Uh, so it looks like this is all Windows. There's a, basically Bob left and we gotta disable his stuff. Got it. Okay, use Windows Server 2016 or 2019 command tool to disable the account for Bob. Okay, see users administrator blank blank slash active. Okay, so this should be, it's ask us for a syntax. Uh, so that should be user bob and then if we want to disable that it should be no so i want to think about that before i look at the options let's see oh net user right net user uh net user then bob bob should be here and then active it should be no yep okay so i'm pretty sure that's right uh, because that's what i thought it would be before i just forgot the net part all right Use the Windows Server 2016, 2019 command tool to change the administrator password for the file server. Okay, so that's gonna be the same thing, net user, but we're gonna say administrator. Right. Now this is a red herring, net administrators. It's gonna be net user. The administrator is a user, so. Okay, I think that should be good. And then select other management features that should have credentials changed since the employee has left the company. All right, so let's look at the scenario again. Uh, let's see, mission critical file server. Do a file server here. Network security device access, active directory security group access, and Windows server on Azure. Okay, so we have that. Uh, so Bob had administrator access, right? I think so. Bob, recently your colleague Bob, who also had access to Windows administrator login credentials, has left the company. So if he had administrator access, he had access to the administrator account. We need to change the password in the administrator account. And then we gotta change the credentials for all of these. We should. Administrator and Alice. It doesn't say anything about Alice in here. Service administrator, data administrator, domain controllers, administrator, Alice, Bob. So I'm trying to think about what the answers would be in the drop-down selection. I mean, if it says change credential, that should be it, really. Let's see what it says. Bob's manager to the side, change credentials, okay. Delegate changes. We're not gonna delegate changes. Nobody else is, we're not that important to have people working for us in this role. Downgrade access, no change needed. Now this is designed to be confusing, I think. It's definitely not no change needed. So if you see this and you're not sure the answer, first off, eliminate what you know is incorrect. So no change needed, that's definitely not it. Delegate changes, doesn't say we run a security team, so that's not it. Bob's manager to decide in the scenario, Bob's man the manager asked us to look at this, okay? Uh, it said, your manager is aware of the situation, asked you to apply extra scrutiny to Bob's systems access. So if we're an administrator and Bob was an administrator, that's probably Bob's manager too, so. Bob's already, Bob's manager has already told us that. So the only other things are downgrade access and change credentials. <clears throat> I mean, change credentials makes the most sense here. Downgrade access, 
we're not going to do that for Alice. We, nothing here mentions Alice, so it's going to be change credentials. I mean, honestly, we should just change credentials across the board. That's what you do when you offboard somebody. So if that's the option here, yeah, same thing with this one. Are these all the same? They are all the same. Well, if they're all the same, it's got to be change credentials. Now, this is going to throw a lot of people off, I guarantee it, because especially with these PBQs, people see this, my students will see these questions, and sometimes they'll say, it can't be the same answer like three times in a row. I can't just select the same thing multiple times. But yes, you can. And most of the time, that's correct. And I'm, I can almost guarantee it's going to be right. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is right. So... <laughs> This is, a, this is one that's trying to play with your brain here a little bit. So this is a tricky question. It's very simple, but it's very easy to get wrong at the same time. When an employee leaves a company under normal circumstances, it requires a sysadmin to follow a certain offboarding process, right? For example, a sysadmin should disable user accounts and privileges, as well as collect, wipe, and destroy company-owned IT assets per company policies. On the other hand, when an administrator leaves, this should trigger additional processes to account for the elevated and broad privileges and knowledge this person would have. Right. The first task, command, net user. Yeah, net user is going to change anything with users. So we just selected Bob, and then we selected administrator. That's, that's pretty easy to explain. Uh, and then let's see the third third task highlights the broad access the administrator can have. And in this task, the network security devices neither access credentials change. Yep, he would have access because he's an administrator. And it says the same thing for each of these. Even though a sysadmin can disable department's administrator account, the department departing employee may have had an organization administrator login and password. That's right. Hey, thanks for the thank you, Jack. I'm happy to help you guys. I want to see you guys pass your exams here. All right, uh, delegate changes, voiding, changing credentials, downgrading, or letting Bob's manager side are all inappropriate options in Bob's circumstance. Yeah, it's a pretty self, a uh, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward question here. So, any questions on this one, guys? I, I think it was pretty simple. Okay, well, great job, and. There's one other thing I want to touch on with this one. Just remember in these questions that you can, you can a answer the same question, same answer multiple times. And you really got to know your, your syntax for Linux and Windows commands. So make sure you know your command prompts and your, your terminal commands. That's going to definitely be tested. You have lots of questions like this. There's lots of questions in that test bank with this types of thing. So let, let's go ahead and do another one. So this one took really no time at all here. But great job.